Christ. Um, it's nice to uh, be with you today and uh, share the word of God uh, in this difficult time. Um, a brief uh, Bible reading to, to, uh, to, to, uh, this afternoon is from uh, Mark 13, uh, 30 to 34. And uh, it says, um, truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But about the day or the hour, no one knows, not even the, the angels in heaven, nor the son, but only the father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each, each with their assigned task and tells the one at the door keep, to keep watch. Uh, you know, the, the, the reading from Mark is, is, is a reading that actually tries to remind me of um, a time, um, you know, uh, when um, I was doing ministry in Zambia and, um, uh, you know, I'd go out uh, with a group of ladies uh, to, to a very far away place, you know, in the remote areas of Zambia. And um, in that area, uh, you, know, you know, you would see people um, yearning to actually receive the word of God, given, you know, their circumstances. Today, you know, um, as people of God, we are actually passing through uh, one of those times when no one would want to say, well, I'm happy uh, with this time, because it's like, you know, there are, you know, there are trials and, and uh, temptations. But Mark is trying to remind us about what Jesus said to his own disciples, you know, when he was on earth, on earth trying to assure them that you know, his coming on earth was to bring life and life in, in, in fullness. You know, he came as a son, of, a son of God, and he lived among us, you know, as God's own people. He taught what his father wanted us to actually uh, hear from him. Um, I know, you know, throughout our world, people are concerned about uh, what's happening. You know, the uh, coronavirus has actually pushed us to the, to the limits. And, uh, you know, people are trying to say a lot of things, trying to speculate. And, uh, you know, sometimes if we are not careful as Christians, we, may, we might even listen to words that cannot help us as believers. Yes, some prophecy that are coming might sound to be true, but as Christians, we have to discern whatever, you know, comes our way. Jesus says, you must be alert. You know, when I, I got the reading, I, I, you know, I actually said, oh, what did the, you know, the government actually read this passage when they said, stay alert. But, uh, you know, I thought, uh, you know, they, they just came up with the word gross, you know, they were trying to help us to understand how we can look after ourselves. I think in the same way as believers, you know, we ought to be alert at any time at any day, at any given hour, we must be ready with whatever you know is happening in our lives. We don't know when the Son of Man you know will come um, you know back again. He says to us, "You must keep watch. You know, keep looking. Be attentive to what is happening." Many a times I do remind my brothers and sisters in Christ that you see the best thing we can do as believers is to have the eyes of God, is to have the ears of God, because if we have the eyes of God, we'll be able to see beyond ourselves. And if we, we have the ears of God, we'll be able to hear beyond ourselves, because God is always active in our lives. God does not go on holiday as we often do, you know, we human beings. God is always at work, working to help his own creation. 
So at this time of trials and uh, temptations, I, you know, I want to urge you to be strong. I want to urge you to be prayerful, be watchful, listen to what God is trying to say to you, whether as an individual or as a family. I think God has a word for you and God will listen to whatever you present before him. Paul says, come to God in prayer and in supplication. Tell God whatever you want to tell him because God is able to listen. The ears of God are not deaf to hear you know, to, uh, to our cries. He is the God who knows us and the God who understands us. So the challenge we have is that uh, we ought to pray at all times and we ought to pray in spirit. You know, our spirits must be connected with the spirit of God so that as we talk to God and God will talk to us, we will know where God wants us to go. So my, you know, uh, urge to you is to be, you know, alert is to persevere in your, you know, in, in, in your, in your prayers. Devote yourself, devote yourself to prayer. Prayer is the, is the way in which we communicate to God. There is power in prayer. Jesus said, you know, if you have faith, you can tell this mountain to move and it's going to move. So to me, that's the challenge we have today in this time of the pandemic is to say, you say you know, where are we as Christians? What is my role as a believer? What does God want me to do so that my faith brings hope and confidence in whatever I'm doing as a believer? So I urge you all, friends in Christ, to be watchful, be alert, be on guard. May God bless you. Amen.